Hi everyone, it's Christoph Chu from Coldwell Banker Previews International in beautiful Beverly Hills, California. It's a beautiful October day in Los Angeles and I'm in the uh, Sunset Strip Hollywood Hills area of Los Angeles, which is kind of the last section of the Hollywood Hills uh, towards the west side that borders on Beverly Hills. So literally two blocks to my west is the beginning of uh, Beverly Hills proper, the city of Beverly Hills and the Truesdale Estates area of Beverly Hills as well. So I'm on Doheny Drive, which is uh, one of the most popular streets here in the uh, Sunset Strip Hollywood Hills area. And here on Doheny Drive, prices, you can actually get a small house on lower Doheny for about two and a half to 2.5 million, an old tear down or a single, single story mid-century without without any view, etc. For example, this teardown here sold a couple of years ago for about 2.5 million. They tore it down to build a house. Next door is another house that sold for about 2.5 million that um, is on the market now, I believe, for 11 million. Uh, a lot of high numbers uh, happen in this particular neighborhood. Uh, a lot of celebrities also love the bird streets. I think a couple of reasons. Number one, it's in the Hollywood Hills. Uh, celebrities love view properties. There's a lot of modern architecture, which is also very popular with celebrities, writers in the music industry, uh, actors, actresses, you know, kind of that whole entertainment crowd loves it. Um, we're in the lower Doheny section, and that house over there uh, used to be at one point in time, I forget how long it was, Dolly Parton's LA residence. Very country looking, right? Kind of a contemporary craftsman. Um, so the Bird Streets here, again, I think the reason why people love it is it's literally right off of Sunset Boulevard, you're right on the border of the city of Beverly Hills, and you're close to Hollywood. So when you want to go to the Hollywood clubs and restaurants and kind of hang out or go to the Oscars, you're really, really close by. So Lower Doheny again starts at about two million, two and a half million, up to about 14, 15, although there have been a few anomaly sales in the 20 to 30 million dollar range. And the highest sale price last year here in the Hollywood Hills West area, Sunset Strip area, was uh, 35 million, I believe, just off the street to the right there. Uh, we're now in the section called the Bird Streets, and the Bird Streets are the most popular part of the um, Hollywood Hills, and they're called the Bird Streets because they all have names of birds. <laughs> Oreo, Blue Jay, uh, Flicker, Swallow, um, gosh, I can't remember all the other names offhand. Uh, but they're all warbler there's another one right there thrush warbler so giving you an example once we get to this turnaround point we are in the doheny estates area of doheny uh, so we're no longer in lower doheny and we're now heading up towards really the kind of a section of the a section of the hollywood hills which is really the best part of the bird streets and these houses here typically if you get the right position have unbelievable um, full-on city views. We call them jetliner views because you're high up enough that it's essentially like being on a jet plane. And uh, there you go. So as an example, this house here to the left was a friend of ours home that was built new in the late 90s, maybe early 2000. It sold about a year ago and they tore it down and are building a new house. And that sold, I think at that time, for seven million or so. But amazing, amazing view. This was an interesting house that sold a few years ago on four stories. Sorry, it's a little bit tough with the uh, camera angles in the car. Um, there you go. So that's Robin Drive. And there's only three or four streets up here. We're pretty much at the end of it. Uh, the highest price right now in the neighborhood is $22 million, uh, for a home on Swallow, which I'm going to see right now. Uh, that's actively for sale. And the average price per square foot here on Doheny right now is about $1,250 a square foot. There's another new construction. Although prices have been as high as uh, over $2,500 a square foot. So I'm just gonna go to the end of the street because that's the house I'm going to preview. It's gonna be, I'm sure, a beautiful house. Uh, there's another new construction modern. So again, new construction modern homes are really what's sought after up here. Uh, it's what the consumers want and it's what the builders are building because people will pay huge prices uh, for uh, a done, done remodeled home or a brand new home. So as you can see over time, a lot of these older mid-century homes are all gonna be torn down. 
That's one that's going to probably be torn down sooner than later. There's another one right there that's undergoing a renovation, maybe two stories. Oh, one of the things up here is as you're building new homes, you cannot block your neighbor's view. So there you can kind of see a little peekaboo view of the uh, city of LA. A little hazy today, it's going to be 97 again. Summertime in October. Uh, that's another beautiful modern home that didn't have a view that sold a few years ago. And so if you're in the right position like these homes here that are on the south-facing fa south side of the hill, uh, above the street below, and usually they're terrace streets, you're going to get an amazing, amazing view. So this is the house I'm going to see. It's 22.5 million, newer construction modern. It sold a couple years ago, I think for, gosh, I don't remember if it was four or five million, but at this part of the Hollywood Hills, entry level pretty much is about five million bucks. So anyways, that's my little tour today of the uh, Hollywood Hills area of the Sunset Strip, uh, the western section. So I hope you liked it, and here we go, the beautiful view of L.A.